guys, it's SNJ Studio back at again with another video. And sorry if the camera's shaky, it's just because I'm holding it. Um, so today I'm going, this is going to be a little different. And it's just me, Jojo. But it's going to be a little different today. I'm going to show you guys how to make um, a mocha frappuccino, a Starbucks one. Um, it may not be exactly like Starbucks because... I don't know, they have like, they're just magical, but <laughs> anyways, I am going to be using the Starbucks coffee things um, that are for cure eggs, so um, anyways, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Once we get to at least 200 subscribers, we will give do a giveaway, and so yeah. Let's just get on with the video. So what you'll need is coffee. So I'm, like I said in the beginning, you know, I'm just using the Mocha Starbucks Keurig cup things. So I just have a Keurig coffee machine over here. So I'm just gonna brew that. Oh God, I'm just gonna brew that and I'll be back. <laughs> So I have my coffee brewed, and it smells absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I wish you could smell, like, YouTube. Someone needs to make up something that makes it so you can smell what it is. Because this smells amazing right now. It smells just like Starbucks, honestly. <laughs> okay, so the next step is... You will need a blender. It doesn't matter what type of blender you have. You can have a small one. You can have a big one like mine. Um, it really doesn't matter. I don't probably don't even. I don't even really need a big one like this. But oh yeah, sorry if you hear background noise. It's my dog. <laughs> but so just get whatever you want. And then I'm gonna fill this up with some ice. So I'll be right back. So here's my ice. I didn't add too much because you don't want it to be too watered down. I just added enough so it would be good. So the next thing I'm going to do is add in some chocolate syrup in here. This just makes it taste better. I don't know. It just takes, makes it taste more mocha. And so, yeah. So I added it and you can add um, your chocolate syrup as much as you want. If you want more of the coffee taste, you can add less. If you want more of the chocolate taste, then um, you can add more chocolate syrup to it. So I just added that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this coffee. And I'm going to add, you. if you don't like creamer in your coffee, you definitely don't have to put it in here. But I'm going to put some cream in here just to make it more creamier when I put it in there and it's not as strong. So just pretty much make your coffee as much as you like it, but put less creamer in. So um, as you usually would because the ice will water it down just a little. So remember that to just put in less creamer than usual. So I'm using half and half. Any half and half or creamer works at all. Just the way you make your coffee. I like to add a little sugar, so if you like adding sugar, go ahead and add it. Make sure to just stir that. And that should be good. ended up adding more chocolate and as you go on you can just keep adding in as much chocolate as you feel like so the next step is we're gonna come over here and I'm probably gonna okay so I'm gonna fill this 
I'm going to get a different cup probably because it might look better through a glass cup. So anyways, I'm just going to fill this with some ice. Make sure to use crushed ice because otherwise it will be way too uh, big and you won't like it. So now I'm just going to pour in my coffee that I mixed. So, Okay, so it just perfectly made it in. So this is the coffee. Now what I'm going to add, you don't have to add this. This is optional, but um, I'm just going to add some whipped cream. So I added it and the chocolate syrup on top and whipped cream is totally optional, but I think it makes it look cute and also makes it taste even better. So next I'm just going to add my straw because I just like drinking it that way. <laughs> there you have it. That's how you make one. And now I'm going to do a taste test. So it tastes really good. So I like it a lot. I This is, if I were to rate it, I would say 9 out of 10 because no one can beat Starbucks. I mean, they're amazing. So this is really good though. So make sure to try it out. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe for more. If you liked um, like food things and like different types of videos like DIYs and do it yourself, pretty much the same thing, but... Uh, make sure to comment down below um, what video ideas you have. But that's it for today's video. Thank you. Bye.